In this video we're going to demonstrate how to use a memory saver. Memory saver is used to keep the memory inside of the computers from being erased when we disconnect the battery on the car. And there's a lot of important reasons. The obvious ones are the, the time on the clock on the radio, there's also the, the presets on the radio, but there are a lot of less obvious reasons that we want to do this. Um, there's a lot of memory in each of the computers that is learned over time, such as trouble codes and uh, freeze frame data and monitors that have passed. And maybe a more serious issue is if you have a radio in a lot of cars, if we disconnect the battery, that radio is locked out until you get a code to reset that, and that often costs money and takes time. So whenever you disconnect a battery, you're best off if you use a memory saver. So let's take a look at this right now. The clock says that it is 155 right now, and so if we do this right, the, the memory won't be reset. We'll turn the key off. We'll grab this memory saver. It has a cigarette lighter on one end, and it has a, an OBD2 connector on the other end. And to make sure this works, we look at the little LED on here. When I plug this into the car, that LED should light up. And that shows us that we've got power at the, at the OBD2 connector and that we're connected to the car. And then I pull it out of the car. I'll bring it over here and we're, this is going to be our power supply. And that's all a memory saver is, is just a backup battery. I want to connect this here and make sure that the LED will light up as well. And it does. It, there's a fuse inside of here. If the fuse is blown, that won't light up. Or if the wire is bad, or if we don't have power at one of these connections, that won't light up. So watching that LED light up independently Right, I can't plug them in at the same time. I've got to plug in one and then disconnect it and plug in the other. Shows that the cable is good and we've got the voltage on either end. So now we can connect this. So we connect it here. So now the car has two sources of power. We've come around, we can now disconnect the battery. And this could be in the case of changing the battery, servicing the battery, whatever reason it is that you have to disconnect this. Disconnect the battery. Now normally that would erase all the memory and all the computers on the car, which could cause problems in some cases. Now if we've done this right, we'll be able to reconnect the battery. And none of our memory will have been lost. Of course, just a reminder that when you disconnect the battery, you should always disconnect the negative cables first. The reason for that is, as I'm disconnecting this cable, if my wrench were to short against the metal on the car, against anything that's metal, it won't do anything because it's all connected to the ground. However, if I started to disconnect the positive battery cable first, and my wrench were to short against metal while I was doing that, I would, I would create a short circuit and, and burn or melt something. Okay, let's go see how successful we were. Now pull the memory saver cable out. And if we get this right, the clock should read just a few minutes later than it was earlier. 157. We were successful. So that's how you keep the memory in the car when you disconnect the battery.